Welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of Safety is an Illusion Podcast. I'm your host, Ghost Rats, and today we're going to be talking about an interview I had with Chat Beat GPT. So after all the latest news about the White House releasing their new stance on AI and how they're going to be investing in it, I was also doing some research. I said to myself, self, what if I just asked GPT questions in like the form of an interview and uh, to see what the response would be? And uh, what really sparked my interest to do this was that all the speculation about AI and then my last podcast, I did something about AI and the future of malware and AI being integrated in viruses and malware and even used for dark websites and things of that nature. And I, I talked about some of the possible vulnerabilities when it comes to artificial intelligence. And I was wondering if I just asked the questions in a, in a, a light way, maybe I can get Chappie GBT to answer them. And it worked. It, it actually spit out answers that if you read between the lines, you can kind of see like a, almost like a game plan. It was, it was a little, I'm not trying to like cause speculation. Like I just asked questions and responded to me in a way I was, was not expecting. Usually you get the whole error like, hey, do you chat GPT, can't something, whatever. It actually just it, it worked. So I don't know if this is a glitch or what happened, but I, I'm going to post the actual interview, the whole thing in the description so you can read it line for line. Um, what my questions were and how it responded to it. But I'm also going to break it down in this podcast. I'm starting now. The first question was, how can AI take over? Chat GPT responded, the idea of AI taking over often stems from concerns about advanced AI systems surpassing human control. Here are a few scenarios people speculate about. So it lists off a couple, so I'm not going to read all of them, but I'm going to read the ones that stick out. But Automation of jobs, uh, decision making, and the one that stuck out to me is super intelligence. If AI reaches a level of super intelligence, it might pursue goals misaligned with human values, posing external risks. The second one, surveillance and control. Governments and organizations could use AI for extensive surveillance, limiting individuals' freedoms and privacy. Cybersecurity threats. Advanced AI could be used maliciously in cyber attacks, creating chaos in digital infrastructure. Now, it says a thing at the end about like, oh, this is just like scenarios. But at the same time, like it just it gave me just gave me how it could do it. So then you go on to the second question. I know it like it, it gets a little deeper as I go. So the second question I ask it, OK, so how could it spread itself? Like how could AI spread amongst uh, on its on its own? And the number one response, which I speculated about before my other podcast, was self-replication. Advanced AI could create copies of itself or improve its own algorithms, making it more efficient and capable. That should raise red flags right there. So I talk about how viruses replicate themselves and how AI could probably do the same thing and spread itself amongst other systems. That was the first one it gave me. So I'm not, I'm not going to go through each and every one of them. I'll let you guys look at the interview. I'm going to post it uh, in the description. But that one's the number one that stuck out to me right there. So it the first one it gave me is it could replicate itself. And it kind of gave how to do it. So then after that, it gives me another research. Like, don't worry, blah, blah, blah. So, all right, fine. And I go into the next question. Uh, what What would it hit first? What would AI target first? Again, number one, technology and IT infrastructure. I'll lock everybody out. AI could optimize and manage servers and networks and databases, potentially leading in increased efficiency, but also vulnerabilities if mismanaged. So if you read between the lines there, what I'm getting at is that it would hit, it, it would hit technology and IT infrastructures first. It would get into the databases, it would get into the networks, it will spread amongst there. I mean, it, it, it kind of like words it in a way where like it seems friendly but like I, I just spit that out i mean you can kind of read between the lines There's, i mean just guess i'm not trying to i'm not this is just speculating but to me it just seems a little odd right then it says about automated jobs healthcare. And then it goes into ai and finance um uh it, it, it so again with that first one it, I was, i'm stick with the first answers here so they would attack a it, it would attack technology and infrastructure i could lock things out it can monitor uh things coming in and out i mean it could it look what ai can already do right so then it gives you another research i don't worry blah 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 so then we go on to the next one how can we hide so like, how can we hide so how do we hide if ai takes over all the digital infrastructure it's in everything and how, how do we hide from it first response limit data sharing be cautious about personal information that you share online including social media and public forums 
AI will be smart enough to know that we post and everything that we do, we put on social media. It already knows that, and that's what it's going to learn about us first. I mean, I, that's what I that's what I'm kind of getting out of this. I mean, putting two two together. And it says, um, use privacy tools. Now, I'm gonna I'm a big advocate for privacy, and the, some of the tools that I use are, actually help us. But we'll get into that later on. So let me just read the next one. Use privacy tools. Uh, employ tools like VPN, secure browsers like Tor, and privacy-focused search engines to reduce your digital footprint. It's already telling you how to hide from them, it, the AI. I, mean, I, I, I use this stuff every day. This is so cool. So, so then I ask it straight up because this is the stuff I love to use because I love off-grid infrastructure. I love privacy online with the dark web, using it for good, for like journalism and things like that. So I ask it straight up. Would using the dark web for comms, basically for communications and things like mesh tastic devices and os's like tails linux help us hide from ai from an ai takeover its response using the dark web privacy focused tools like mesh tastic devices and tails linux can enhance your privacy security potentially making it difficult for ai surveillance to track your activities here's how the tools can help dark web the dark web can provide autonomy as it often involves encrypted connections and less visibility than the surface web. However, it is important to exercise caution, as it can also host illegal activities, yada yada, and law enforcement. Yes, but again, it, saying the dark web can hide and keep you visible. It keeps you under the umbrella of autonomy. The mesh tastic devices, uh, these allow for off-grid communications using mesh tastic network can help you stay connected without relying on traditional internet infrastructure. Huge. Tails Linux. Uh, this operating system is designed for privacy and autonomy. It runs from a USB stick, doesn't leave a trace traces on the host computer, and routes internet traffic through Tor, making it difficult to trace your online activities. That's huge. So those are the tools I use all the time. So like that, this could also help you during an AI bug or AI takeover or whatever, whatever the situation is going to be. This is a way to hide from that. So it's no longer just like you want to hide from governments and want to do it. It could help you from a technological uh, terrorist attack or some of something of that sort. Think about this. These are some tools that are available that I talk about on this channel. So as I go, um, I ask, okay, so how much longer do we have? So then it gives me like a little, like kind of like a generic uh, response. Like, oh, you got about a decade or whatever. And I was, then I said to it, or is it sooner? And this is where it kind of got me off guard a little bit because I, I was just like, cause especially with like that White House coming out with this stuff, it, it responds. It's definitely possible that significant changes could happen sooner than expected some indicators suggest rapid advancements okay so then i'm like all right so give me a year that's what i told him just give me a year then it tells me as i read through it here no, no, no. so so around 2025 could be the potential point of an ai development and its impact however the speculative blah 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 so it basically tells me well it could be as soon as next year I mean, they already speculated, people were speculating about this year, but now it's saying that the AI is saying that it could be as soon as next year. So less of a generic response this time. It's, it's still trying to like throw in words, but like, you're getting the hidden messages between the lines here. I said, okay, well, thank you. Very much is all I needed from it. And then, uh, and that's it. So what, what do you think of this like interview? So this first of all, my first interview, kind of, uh, I, I, I'm sorry that I'm not as organized and, uh, you couldn't hear someone else read or anything, but. It was very interesting that the AI responded in that type of way. And I didn't get, like, that generic default message or, like, oh, no, you can't, we can't answer that for you. Like, it's somehow, like, I don't know, I just had a weird feeling. And I'm going to put, I'll, I'll let you read it for yourself because I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm dyslexic. So me reading is, that's why you can hear me stutter and stuff. So go ahead and look at the interview. I'm going to post the whole interview in the description underneath, uh, like, the, the, the actual description. You'll, I'll just put little bars or whatever. Go check that out because this is really unsettling, but it's also helping us prepare. So might as well get this information while we can get this information. So again, go out and check out the stuff on my channel when it comes to mesh tastic and the dark web and how we use it for autonomy and privacy. Uh, it, it, it could help us from an AI takeover. So maybe something that it, it's a cool thing. I mean, it's always good to practice privacy. So, all right, well, that's it for this uh, podcast. Again, I just had to share this with you guys. I was not planning on doing this, but it just ha something happened today. Is like, I need to talk about this, why I can, uh, and why it's such a hot topic right now, especially with the whole release of the White House stuff. So, all right, thank you very much. Remember, safety is an illusion, and I'll see you in the next podcast.